Religion is the right book, I mean the right belief. So whatever your belief tells you, you do something good, right? No, but, good. but you said in the eyes of God. From my own, and I can't okay, say Okay, so that. it's your opinion then. Say it like yeah, that, good. Correct. Don't say in the eyes of God then. That's a wrong, you're you trying to, to hell. no, no, you're, you're trying to represent God, you but you're not. Well, God can put anyone in hell he wants. God can put anyone in heaven he wants to. I understand. But so it's not up to you or to me. Okay, so anyway, let's go back to the Trinity. Because before this gentleman interrupted, that was sorry, my question sorry, to you. Sorry. Show me anywhere in the Bible where you can show me the Trinity concept. Oh, that's in John, Matthew 28, 19. Yeah, I don't think that's the Trinity. It just shows the three people, that's all. Doesn't mean they're one. Yes, but it definitely shows that Jesus was coming out of the water. Oh, you're talking about the baptism. Okay, that's good. Okay. He saw heaven being torn open. Yeah. And the spirit descended on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, whom I love. With you I'm pleased. And so there was a Jesus coming out of the water. There was a heaven open. There was a Father speaking. And there was a Holy Spirit. What are you trying to say by that? So those three are one. Where does it say those three are one? Yeah. Those were your words. No, the, the, the heavenly Father was there at yeah. the time. The Holy Spirit was hovering over Jesus. Okay. And, 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 and uh, God spoke. Yeah. So we got three people. Where does it say they are one? Where does it say they are? Because the Trinity doesn't mean three. You know that. The Trinity means these three persons are one being. We see three beings there. We don't see one being. I'm Ah, oh, there you go. You see, so so what? So you agree with me? Wait, wait. You agree with me that what you're preaching is not in the Bible? The Bible is it for all humanity? Is it for the whole mankind? Is it? Everyone who accepts and receives. So it's all for all So the Bible is for all humanity. All who Didn't Jesus say he's only come for the lordship of Israel? In Matthew 15? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Anyone who trusts in me will never be put to shame. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Okay. Did Jesus not say that he's only come for the Lordship of Israel? No, Jesus said he's the Savior of the world. Shall I show you where that verse is? In Matthew 15. So why you said no then, it's not there? Hold on, hold on. Why did you say it's not there then? If Jesus says he's only come for the Lordship of Israel... You see what you have just done there? You have only picked the verses that agree with your theology. And you have ignored everything else that Jesus has said. When Jesus said, I've not come except for the Lordship of Israel, you don't want to believe in that bit. Why is that? Why do you pick and choose the verses that agree with your theology? Now you want to go away? Goodbye. That's fine. Thank you very much. But at least, at least be sincere and read the verses. That is every, all the verses in the Bible. What pride? All I'm asking you is what's in the Bible. Oh, here comes the preaching mode. Okay. Bye bye. What's your name, by the way? What, what is your name? Then you will have a right relationship with the living God and walk with him and give God the give you. No, I don't believe I don't believe in men as gods. I'm sorry. Like Jesus, I will not worship a man. Jesus never worshipped a man, and I will never worship a man. And none of the prophets of the Israelites or before them ever worshipped a man. No one is worshipping a man. Well, who's Jesus then? Was he not a man? He's fully So why does he say he has a God then? You haven't answered that question even. You haven't answered any of my questions. I'm sorry to say this, lady. You, when Jesus says, I go to my God and your God, 
it clearly shows that he is claiming that he has a God. But you don't want to answer that. You don't want to respond to that question. No, you're, you're, you're just cherry picking. I'm sorry to say this now. But it's, it's been, I think it's, I've given a fair, op a fair chance. And enough, no, I've given you enough opportunities to answer the questions, but you only pre you only preach the. Let me just you, read what Jesus. Can you read after you have answered my question? Are you able to do that? Because it's been a while since I've asked you this question. How can you believe someone is a god who himself claims he has a god? Are you going to answer that question? No, you're just going to preach it. You just want to preach, don't you? No, I'm sorry, I'm not here. If you want to preach, I think you, I suggest you go to the church. Because right here, this is Speaker's Corner, where we have a dialogue, we have a debate. We ask questions and we expect answers. And I expect the same from you. You can ask me questions about Islam. No problem whatsoever. However, if you're going to come here and just preach, this is not the right place. At least not, in, not to me. Because I want you to have a dialogue. Try to explain to me why Jesus, whom you believe as fully God, himself claims that he has a God. Are you going to answer that rather than just preach to us? Are you going to answer that question? No, you don't want to, do you? You just want to preach. I'm sorry, I've given enough chances to respond to. Okay, you know what he looks like? Have you seen him? Well, it tells you here. No, I'm asking you, have you seen him? Well, I've seen him by faith. No, no, wait, wait, wait. You have seen him by what? It reveals his glory. Glimpses of his glory and his So you have seen a glimpse of Jesus? Have you seen Jesus, yes or no? Many people have seen I'm not asking about me, I'm asking about you. Have you seen Jesus? I have, a, I have had glimpses of his glory. Okay, what does that mean, glimpse of him? What did you see exactly? No, no, before, before you go preaching, tell me what you mean by that. You are, you are, because you, you're not answering any of the questions. I'm sorry. I asked you what's your name when you answered that. What's your name? What is your name? Do you, are you able to tell me your name? Uh, I think you just want to preach now. I'm sorry. Wrong place to come to. Be possible. Sorry, yeah, go on. But if God is all powerful, yeah, can't He take a bit of Himself and put it into a human being? Can He put it into a human being? Yeah. That is that. That doesn't show the power of God. That but shows the weakness. No, no, because no. once you become God, once you become a human being, you're no longer God. Okay. You could be half and half. No, that's a demigod. We don't believe in demigods. I know you don't believe in it. Do you believe in demigods? To be honest, no, no. I don't really, but I've never... So you don't believe in a demigod? I don't believe in a demigod. Why are we having this discussion? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't believe in a god, but I've never understood why you're so sure that Jesus can't be... Uh, because Jesus never claimed to be God. It's very simple. Jesus never claimed to be God. Jesus never cl advocated the Trinity. And I've got a very clear conscience in the fact that these two things are never advocated advocated by Jesus. What, what the Christians are believing in is something from the 4th century. The doctrine of Trinity was established in the 4th century. And this is how they came to believe in this. Yes, because the early church fathers, if you look at the apostles, if you look at Jesus himself, if you look at the prophets before Jesus, none of them advocated the Trinity. They all believe that God is one. Look at the Old Testament, look at the New Testament. Throughout you'll see God is one. All the Abrahamic faiths, whether it's Judaism, whether it's Christianity, whether it's Islam, and I'm talking about I'm talking about Christianity, I'm talking about the people who believe Jesus to be the Messiah. I'm talking about them. Not the Christians who came later and adulterated the true message of Jesus, i.e. in the belief of one true God and not a trinity. You will not find any trinity anywhere in the New Testament or the Old Testament. Alright? So anyway, that's, that's what I wanted to ask the lady. But she didn't want to answer those questions. She wanted only select... Uh, statements from their Bible and she just wanted to preach those because that is all they have been taught in the in the church to go and preach these selective verses and not to question the rest of it if they cannot question the rest of the Bible the then, then that's that questionable in itself you believe in a God there's no reason why you can't believe in a Trinity there's a big reason because no, the Trinity doesn't make sense because the Trinity is not mentioned in the Bible that they preach from even if it does it doesn't make sense you see the Bible says God is one it doesn't say three in one it doesn't say that and like he said, yes, the Trinity is very incoherent in the sense that these three are co-equal, but then one is saying, I can by myself do nothing. Another is saying, I cannot speak of my own. I only say what I hear. And that is the Holy Spirit. And then both of them do not know the last hour. How is that co-equal? The Father is the only one who knows the last hour, not the Holy Spirit, not Jesus Christ. This is no co-equality. And this shows us again, proves to us that the, 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 the Trinity, no, he doesn't believe in God. So he's, he's not a Christian. And he's not claiming to be one, but he's saying, why can't God be a trinity if God exists? And I told him the reason for that is, 
A, it is not mentioned in the Bible. B, it is incoherent. And these two, these two reasons are enough to basically <laughs> disbelieve this uh, this kind of doctrine, which is not in, not advocated anywhere in the Bible. So anyway, thanks for your time, mate. Yeah, you take care. Jazakallah. Salam. Oh, is that yours?